welcome to Austin 316 Day. But instead of bringing Stone Cold in, we brought the basketball team of Danvers, the girls' basketball team here. It's a fun day here at DCAT. I'm Jack Sapino, your host. Welcome to the Falcons Corner. Not too bad, not, not too bad. Too Thanks bad. for we having us. We've got a couple us. of questions for you guys. And, um, you know, I just want to say you guys have had an unbelievable season on the court and outside the court from the most part, from our perspective. You know, there's a lot of volunteer work. But I really want to talk about what do you think is the most important factor in the building the successful girls basketball team? Well, I think we talked about it at the beginning with the girls of just being my first year, I really needed them and wanted them to buy into the future of the program, and that's the youth and doing things off the court just as much as we hope to do them on the court and just getting people and the girls, uh, the school, obviously DCAT and the support that we had, um, just trying to build that culture that would ultimately lead to wins and successful seasons. And what does it mean to you to volunteer and do all these volunteer experience with your team? Well, I think it's important because, you know, to, to give back to your community is always a positive and that builds the interest in the program and I think we saw it as the year went on that we got more interest from the student body, from the pep band, uh, from you know local support, donations and, and things like that from outside agencies. And we're going to get a little bit into the season here. What were the positive and negatives about this season, and what do you hope to improve for next season? Well, I think the, the positive was that everybody bought in and that we did a lot of, lot of things for the first time with this team of girls that really came on, and we were able to, you know, they donated their time. At the high school level, a lot of people don't realize how much time and effort they put into it. Uh, that we go six days a week, Monday through Friday, throw in some games, then we have a practice Sunday, and then we did have uh, at any one point girls volunteering for the youth on Saturday. Uh, you saw the polar plunge that we did. We had over, you know, 30 people. We had some parents jump in the ocean on Super Bowl Sunday, and that was making a donation to the homeless, um, and that was, that was fun. The water was cold, but the girls, you know, showed up in uniform and we were able to get it done. And all, and all for a great cause as yeah. well. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what this team means to you and, and what it means to be dedicated to the sport of basketball. What does that mean to you? Well, I think this being my first team, I'm just thankful that there was, you know, no drama. They, they all truly got together. They, we came to practice every day. Sometimes we went late sometimes we got out early sometimes it was strictly basketball other times we threw in some other events during practice but never once did I question their hustle their determination they just came ready to play ready to play indeed and the girls basketball team we got a couple of questions for you and I want to thank you coach I mm. appreciate it for answering some of those questions we want to ask the players of course we want to ask you how long have you been playing basketball and what inspired you to start playing basketball? So um, you have a couple people that have a mic, so if you could just say your name and maybe the position you play in basketball for girls and Danvers sports, just let me know who wants to speak up. Okay. Um, I'm Emma McCullough and I am a guard. And I started playing in third grade. Honestly, nothing really inspired me. Honestly, my dad just signed me up. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then I liked it, and from there I just kept on playing. Uh, I'm Kaylee. I'm a forward, and I started playing. <laughs> 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 I started playing basketball in sixth grade because a lot of my friends played. So I'm, but I'm really happy that I started to play. Hi, I'm Angie. I'm a forward, and I started playing basketball in sixth grade. And at first, I didn't really like it, but then um, my cousins who played. I feel like really inspired, really inspired me to play, and yeah, I really enjoy it now. It's my favorite sport. Um, I'm Bria Robinson. I'm a guard also. Um, I started playing in sixth grade. I started with the Shooting Stars program, and I went one Saturday, and I just kept playing. So, yeah. Excellent. Um, anyone else? Good. Um, I'm Andrea Gaudino. I'm a guard. 
and I started playing in fifth grade because my dad is a really big fan of basketball and he just wanted me to play like him, so yeah. Well. Uh, my name is Molly, I'm a guard, and like Reese said, I started playing with her in fourth grade. And, you know, my parents signed me up, and I'm really happy that I'm still playing now. What is your biggest strength on the court, and how do you use them to contribute to your team's success? Probably my attitude. Um, when people, like, mess up or make a mistake in the game, I try to encourage them and give them reassurance, which I think helps us um, in our players, like, not get in our head, which helps us overall in our games. Um, I think that my uh, biggest strength on the court is physicality because I feel like there's a lot of bigger girls on other teams and like whenever I guard them I feel like my physicality like really plays a role in that and it helps us. All right. Um I think my biggest skill or yeah, yep. yes, my biggest skill on the court is probably my perseverance because I mean I also play a position that I'm kind of undersized for. So just being able to continue through everything even when there's bigger or taller or stronger people on the court like working my way through is really just my biggest strength, I'd say. Um, I think my biggest strength on the court is my enthusiasm. Um, whether I'm on the bench or on the court, you know, if we're doing good, e even if we're doing bad, you know, keeping the girls going, trying to get us to keep doing good. How do you support your teammates both on and off the court? Um, I think while we're on the court, uh, you just try to keep a positive attitude and support others when they might have made a mistake or anything like that. And off the court, um, if I see any teammates at school, you know, I'll go over and talk to them or just say hi walking by them in the hallways. Um, bouncing off of what Kaylee said, um, I think that in school, like, even though the season's over, we all still, like, are friendly with each other and we all say hi in the hallways, so. What are your goals for the future, both in terms of basketball and beyond high school? Um, well, in the future for basketball, I just hope to keep playing, not like as like in college, but like, you know, pick up games. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the future, I hope to go to college and major in neuroscience, and I hope one day to be an eye doctor. Oh, awesome. Snaps for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm a senior, so I won't be playing basketball next year, but I hope to just be able to go out and still like shoot around and have fun with it. And next year I'm going to the University of Tampa, so I'm really excited awesome. for that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Um, I'm a freshman, so I still have three more years of high school, but um, I hope to go to college and play basketball for college in the future. Um, I'm a junior, so I still have one more year of basketball, but eventually I would like to go to college and major in forensic science. Awesome. So I'm also a junior and I got one more year left of basketball. My goal for next year for our team is just to have a winning season because that hasn't happened yet. Coach and then, likes that. <laughs> and then, um, in terms of college, probably go and major in business and then later for law. So. Awesome. So how do you balance your academic and athletic responsibility as a high school and student athlete? Um, I think it's important for you to manage your time, knowing that we have practice at night, either try to get some homework out of the way first, because ultimately school comes first, but as much as fun basketball is, you have to be eligible to, enough to play with your grades. So. Yeah, you know, like adding on to that, you, you got to get your homework done, like either before practice. And sometimes when we have like away games, you'll see a lot of the girls like doing their homework, doing assignments that they need to get done, like during JV or like before your game. So or even on the bus rides there. So. Anyone else? Homework, get it done. No? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Honestly, that's an area I need to work on because <laughs> after school, I'm always so tired, and then I take a nap before basketball, and then I'm stuck with homework <laughs> after basketball. So it's definitely something I need to work on. Oh, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate But my grades honesty. stay good, so don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else?
Can you descri describe a particular memorable game or moment of this season? I think, Bree, I think I have one for you where you made that steal with 3.5 seconds. We brought, we've talked about that so many times, and I've talked about that so many times here at DCAT, but definitely you. Anyone else have one? I think my favorite was the Salem Academy game at the end when everyone dove on the floor. I think it was Ellie and Angie. <laughs> and then I think Bria got a foul. Yeah, that was nope. exciting. Nope. Yeah, oh yeah, and then, yeah. <laughs> Do you, I don't know if I should say that. I think my most memorable was when I was on, I was injured, and that was again that I was injured, we played Gloucester for the second time home, and uh, Reese made a foul shot that let us up, like, for the win, so. Yeah, Reese. No, no. <laughs> Pass the mic, the wonder mic goes round and round. Um, honestly, one of my favorite moments was during Queen of the Court when oh, <laughs> Queen Reese and of the Emma court. were going at it, and <laughs> Reese completely whips Emma to the ground. <laughs> Can you explain to me what that is? I don't know what that is. Basically, it's like a 1v1 type of thing, awesome. and you, if you win like the round, then you just keep playing. Oh, cool. Right after Emma got ask, her stitches. Ask, <laughs> ask her who the queen is currently. Who is the queen currently? Oh, oh. At the moment, yeah, it's me. <laughs> At the moment, it's you. <laughs> also, one of my favorite moments is when I hooked up a the crown? three and I completely airballed and it hit Emma right in the face <laughs> after her <laughs> stitches. She just got her stitches. <laughs> That's good. Anyone else have a memorable moment? I think my favorite, one of my favorite moments was I elbowed Emma by accident <laughs> and she had to get stitches during the game <laughs> but she went back in to play and she was really excited to play so i i really like that <laughs> <laughs> there you go coach i want to ask you about your uh, favorite moment from this year a memory from this season i would definitely say the gloucester game because that was uh, uh, a win i think we'll build on for the girls that are returning next year because it was a total team effort and then at the end big players made a big moment and came through and we were able to get get the victory and even though we only had five on the season hopefully that shows the returning girls that what we can do when everybody's involved in the game and everybody's playing at their best i think we'll have a much better season i'm with with them we're we're better than our record was this year and we'll be better for it next year so so many memorable moments and so many uh you know, many different amazing things that we have actually been a part of. Um, you know, we're really excited to be a part of this family, like you call, and able to kind of create the sound effects for the games, have fun with those, and also just see how much fun you guys were having, regardless of your record. And I want to thank you guys for continuing to push yourself every single day, not just in basketball, but just in school in general, and continue to push yourself to just be the best you can be. Regardless if, you, you know, there's a current situation or, uh, you know, you're losing, you guys continue to push yourself. And we're very proud of that, um, you know, for broadcasting the game and also see you continue to play and love the sport of basketball. So my last question is, what do you hope to improve going forward to next season? What are you looking forward to next season? And um, maybe one of you can start and answer that question. We don't have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, so th I saw this a little bit like on like the end of the season, but I hope to improve our like confidence because I think we're really good players, and I think that if we have our confidence, that um, it'll do a lot for us next year and it'll build us. <laughs> so it's like passing the mic. Personally, or like you. <laughs> Um, for me, I think I sh would Im should improve on my offense because <laughs> it's not very good right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I should work on maybe dribbling once a game. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, hopefully, just in general, improve our record because we know that we're better than our record. And hopefully just to um, prove that to everyone all the other teams next year. Um, I also hope that next year our team chemistry is the same or even better. Um, this year, the upperclassmen and lowerclassmen 
we just built such a great friendship, a bond, like on the court and off the court. So I hope it carries on to next year. Um, for me, I think the biggest thing is minimizing our mental breakdowns on the court because we would have a quarter every game or maybe a half where we would play really good and then it would just fall apart for the rest of the game. But if we can continue and pursue that one quarter where we played really good and keep it into the next quarter, then I feel like we can win a lot more games. Girls, I want to thank you so much for coming in here today and having a conversation with us. We've had an unbelievable season with you. Coach, we had an Thanks. awesome time with you. Appreciate everything. Thank you so much. And uh, girls, do you have uh, anything to say to this audience right here? Maybe we got like a Go Falcons chant or something or nothing? That's fine. Yeah. Be ready. Be ready. We have a can we do a be ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. What an unbelievable season. What so much fun we had here today. On um, 316 day, I told you, I didn't bring in uh, Stone Cold, but I brought in David Chisholm. Even better. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> I'm Jack Savino. I want to thank the crew for helping out with this show. I want to thank the team for just being them and being awesome, as always. Hey, hey, there we go. I wanted that shot. I was looking for that shot. We got the crew. We got Jim Light, Brian Grasso, Will behind the camera. I'm Jack Savino. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Falcons Corner. Good night, everyone. Peace out. Yeah, girl. Good job. Excellent. 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 I mean, talk about what is your biggest strength on the court and how do you use them to contribute to the team's success? So how do you use that to team success using your strength in the game of basketball? Um, <clears throat> sorry, hi, I'm Angie, and I think... <laughs> you don't need to say your name again, but that's okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no worries. I th I think... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, you're good. We, we have fun here on the Falcons Corner. Go ahead. <laughs> I think that my... <laughs> sorry. I, I think... Sorry.